So today I want to talk about my own opinion about driving for Uber Eats with a Xiaomi scooter. I have been driving for Uber Eats for the past couple days, especially because of COVID-19. I lost my job and it was boring to just stay at home with nothing to do. And I decided to drive for Uber Eats with the Xiaomi scooter. I bought the M365 Pro Xiaomi scooter in March. I bought it for around £500. I have been driving for Uber Eats for 3 days and I made around £42. It was fun too and I was online only 6 hours and 15 minutes. So basically, I did 11 trips driving for Uber Eats only. In my opinion, driving for Uber Eats has good and bad aspects too, especially with the Xiaomi scooter. So now let's talk about the good aspects first with the Xiaomi scooter. Easy to carry around. The Xiaomi scooter weighs around 14 kilos and it's easy to carry around especially when you go to the apartment to deliver the food. It's much easier than to do the delivery with a bicycle because I don't have to worry about packing it. I just bring the scooter with me wherever I want to go and even inside the apartment. So it's really good. It lies enough that easy for me to bring to different apartments so I don't have to worry about the parking like the bicycle I have to park in all of these so it's give more a big headache for me and the good aspect number two is fast and easy driving for uber eats with the xiaomi scooter it's good and fast i can do some shortcuts and it's faster than going straight on the bicycle road sometimes it takes less than 20 minutes and i did two deliveries the same time it's easier to ride than the bicycle too i don't have to spend much energy I just push the bottom to go forward and especially up to the hills. The wheels are so good. The M365 Pro Xiaomi scooter wheels are really good. I have been driving the scooter since March and the wheels are still really good, seriously. I drive the Xiaomi scooter a lot and I haven't broke or damaged the wheels yet. That's it all about the good aspect to drive for Uber Eats with the Xiaomi scooter. So let's talk about the bad aspects instead. For the bad aspects with the Xiaomi scooter are Number 1 is battery. In my opinion, the M365 Pro Xiaomi scooter is really good for me. I charge the Xiaomi scooter 4 to 5 bars and I did driving for Uber Eats around 2 or 3 hours. And the battery still had 3 bars, so I made around £15 for driving for Uber Eats. Because the battery will run faster than under 60 kilos. My friend has the M365 Pro Xiaomi scooter as well, so I mean it is really good for me because I'm light, so the battery lasts longer. But if you weigh over 70 kg, I wouldn't recommend it. But his Xiaomi scooter can run around 1 to 2 hour max. And now his scooter battery is way worse than me. Even though I drive the Xiaomi scooter almost every single day. The number 2 is unsafe. The Xiaomi scooter wheels are really good, but unsafe on the road. Some road isn't good and the wheels are small and they are strong enough like a bicycle wheel so it could be very dangerous especially next to a bus and if I drive the Xiaomi scooter at evening or night times I feel so unsafe because some roads at night are terrible if I drive at night it get worse so I can see the bumping road especially I'm a girl it could be someone trying to steal from me too do I think it's worth it to drive for Uber Eats with a Xiaomi scooter? In my opinion, it's worth it to drive for Uber Eats with a Xiaomi scooter, especially because of the COVID-19. I stay at home and do nothing, so I prefer to drive for Uber Eats instead.
it's fun for me and I can make money too, why not? Anyway guys, in my opinion only, it's worth it to buy the Xiaomi scooter. If I don't drive for Uber Eats, I still save money 150 each time to go on a bus or train. Thank you so much guys for spending your time to watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please like or comment for more videos. Thank you!